Hi, my name is Doug Aiken from Prestige Motorsports, and I'm here today to tell you how to change a valve spring on a cylinder head while it's still installed on the engine. This procedure also works very well when changing the valve spring and the engine's still installed in the car. Now we're going to start off with a few simple tools. We're going to have a leak down tester, which one end screwed into the cylinder head. The other end is going to be at your airline source. Secondly, we're going to have just a small magnet. This is going to be to uh, grab the valve spring keepers uh, once the valve spring has been compressed. Also, we will have a small hammer, just a small ball peen hammer. We may have to tap the top of the valve retainer uh, just due to if the locks are seated uh, due to extensive run time, uh, maybe some extra RPM. Uh, there's a few different reasons. We may just need to tap on that. Now we also have a small set of needle nose pliers. Also may be to pull out the, the valve keeper if it's wedged. And then last, uh, we're going to have our valve spring compressing tool, which we'll be able to thread on to the, the stud. And we're going to just go ahead and thread it all the way down. And once we get it down there, we're going to just center it over top of the, the valve itself. We've got our small handy rod here for a little bit of leverage. And as I stated, we might just have to tap this retainer. We're just going to go ahead and do that. And this is just going to loosen up those keepers in the retainer, just in case they're stuck a little bit. Now at this point, you're going to rotate it back around, drop it down, and just apply some pressure. You might go grab your magnet, and as we, oh, let's get our air hooked up here. Now sometimes we'll have to tap the top of this, and it's loose, so we'll grab our, our magnet here, and just go ahead and apply just good pressure, get it down, and there you see we pop one retain, or sorry, one lock. We'll also get this other one out of here, and at that point just slowly release it, lift it up, and swing that out of the way, and we'll be able to remove our spring. Like I said, this, this works very, very well when installed in the vehicle. Uh, of course, we don't want to have to pull the cylinder heads to perform this change. Uh, and at this point, we'll go ahead and stop, and we'll uh, show you how to go ahead and put that spring back on there. All right, now that we're back, we're going to show you how to reinstall the spring that we just removed. Now, in any case, we may be uh, obviously putting a new set of springs on, changing the locks or the retainers, or just over the overall spring pressure. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and get your spring, and also have your, your inside damper, and, and push this spring onto the, your, your retainer. You're going to set this up into the valve spring. We're going to go ahead and just apply this up over top of the valve stem. And just basically reverse it the way we did it before. We're going to go ahead, get it centered over the valve, grab our two keepers, and just lightly apply some pressure. And as we come down, we'll be able to slip this keeper in. And you may have to apply some moderate pressure. And sometimes they're just a little bit tight to get in there. but. Once, oh, once you have it, you'll be able to just release this slowly. And at this point in time, just kind of give it a little, little bounce, make sure it's in there. And there you have it. We have our spring installed. We'll just remove our spring compressor. That way we can get ready to reinstall our push rods, our rocker arms, to our rocker arm adjustment whether it be solid roller or a hydraulic, we're going to go ahead and make our adjustment. And uh, we can also unhook the pressure from the cylinder. And just simply remove our line. 